he's got a very consistent approach that he's always taken and you know it's it's the right approach it's try to prepare the players give them the best opportunity to succeed you know you get out there in the field in the end you know the coaches once the play's called in the player you know the players got to go do it and it's it's it takes great coaching staff to win it takes great players to win it takes great front office support to win it's an organizational win it's an organizational loss and again i think people are always and i've always you know to subscribe a win or a loss to one player and they did that for me a lot with winning and i always said it's not about me it's about us you know it's it's and and when you lose you know it, as a leader when you lose you, you you take you take the blame and you give the credit when you win you know but at the end of the day it's it's a team sport <laughs> uh as tom brady uh, talking about the Patriots, his time with the Patriots and Bill Belichick. Right now, the Patriots counter Rodgers are one and four, about to take mm -hmm. on the Raiders, coached by Josh McDaniels, Bill Belichick's mentee, Bill Belichick's disciple. And so if they don't win this game, ooh, they got Miami and Buffalo after that. It could really get ugly for the Patriots. So look, I, Connor and, and uh, Mike, I need, I need y'all to talk about this. I'm so close to it. I'm so close to mm. Brady Belichick. I need an outside perspective. I need an outside perspective. And Mike, you 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 started to provide one for me because I looked at your feed <laughs> item and but you wrote, "I'm just a bill." Yes, just I'm a bill. only a bill, and I'm sitting, <laughs> and I'm here, sitting here on here Capitol, on Capitol Hill. Hill. Uh, when, see, when, see, Connor, when you don't know. You don't know about that, Connor. That's yeah, like old too, school. Too That's, <laughs> hey, you're too young, wrong, you, baby. It's a you don't get the reference. Comment. Connor didn't even wake up watching Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, from, that's from the schoolhouse rock. That's from the schoolhouse rock days. Anyway, that's we watched we TV that's when we actually got up. kids. <laughs> that's right. Is so, it, that's, I, the, you know, that's the good question, though. Everybody's talking about it right now is Bill Belichick. I mean, as hard as it is to believe, some people are saying maybe it's time for him to go. And I am not of that 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 ilk because I think he's such a legend that it should be on his own terms, or whatever. I didn't like it when Dallas Cowboys fired Tom Landry, uh, and I will I'll never forgive Jerry Jones for something like that. But I believe Bill Belichick, without Tom Brady, like I just mentioned in my feed, he is just the Bill. We used to ask the question, and, and Connor, you remember this a couple of years ago: Who needs who more? Does Bill Belichick yeah. need Tom Brady more, or does Tom Brady need Bill Belichick more? Well, I think we ain't asking that question anymore because it's proven that Tom Brady could go to Tampa, win with that team, take him to the Super Bowl, and and do wonderful things. What has Bill Belichick done without Tom Brady in his span of, uh, of of coaching the Patriots? That's exactly it. It's quarterbacks run this league, right? If you got a really good one, you got a shot always, and that was always the case with New England's dynasty. And Bill gets a lot of credit for a lot of great things he did. The defense was well coached. It felt like they were on a totally different place in terms of talent. Uh, the talent on paper has completely fallen off over the years. No coincidence it's happened as Tom has been gone as well. Tom's a guy that can elevate that talent. I mean, the thing with New England was always that Tom would elevate that offense and Bill would elevate the defense and the special teams and the overall preparation and discipline of the team. But once you take out the greatest quarterback of all time, everything looks a lot different right now. And it's also that his you know, heir to the throne, right, is not a Tom Brady that'll go out and win you any given game. Mac Jones is a mm -hmm. guy that needs everybody around him to kind of get them to those wins, where Mac's not going to elevate, a, let's call it a really underwhelming group of wide receivers, an offensive mm -hmm. line that's lost a step and lost a lot of pieces as well and has dealt with a lot of injuries. And then a backfield where Ramondre Stevenson doesn't look like himself. Ezekiel Elliott is past his prime as well. So you have a guy that is not somebody that's going to drive the play like a lot of the top quarterbacks in the league. And that's how we've gotten to this disaster, unfortunately. You know what, though, fellas, I think, and, and Brady, obviously, Brady, not only the greatest quarterback of all time, greatest player of all time, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the absence of Brady has kind of overshadowed something that you just referenced, Connor, and that is the absence of, pit, of hits, of, of draft yep. hits <laughs> yep. and free agent hits. Veterans like Teddy Bruschi and Mike Vrabel and Ty Law. They had draft picks like Rich, uh, Vince Wilfork. I mean, just like really, like whether they are Patriots Hall of Fame players, Devin McCourty, or Pro Football Hall of Fame players, all these guys are coming in. Julian Edelman, seventh round pick. They weren't mm -hmm. even sure where to play him. They turned him into a really good wide receiver. So Brady not there. 
that was going to happen eventually. But I think the big issue, Mike and Connor, the bigger, even bigger issue right now, because, hey, look, Brady's been gone. Brady's gone. So you got to deal with mm-hmm. it. Bigger issue is they don't have their talent level, I think, is <clears throat> bottom five in football yeah, across awesome. the board. And that's Very something so. that that ain't Tom Brady. That's on you. You got to evaluate better. So who, who makes those decisions? Yeah, I'm saying that it's a look. It's it's yeah. start, it goes so, back. And, 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 goes and, back and everyone, and, but Tom and, and Brady wasn't making him. But Tom everyone, Brady everyone wasn't you responsible about. for those picks when he when he so was good. It wasn't like day, when hey, he I was picked good, well because of Brady. He was evaluating the defense back in the day, right? So he was all of all of all of uh, his career. He's been, been a great defensive mastermind, right? And like you said, he doesn't have those players anymore uh, to go along with a solid greatest quarterback of all time in a Tom Brady. And now that Tom Brady's gone, you need somebody to pick up that role. Mac Jones is not that guy. Um, so when he doesn't develop the defense the way he used to, and he doesn't have that superstar to carry the offense and carry the entire team, then all of a sudden Bill Belichick gets exposed. Maybe he's past his prime. Maybe he's not uh, 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 looking at the way the, the game of football is played today. I mean, it, they take, it takes adjustment. I think really good coaches have to adjust to the way the game is played today. You can't have those big bulking linebackers like you used to have anymore because they can't cover out, uh, running backs out of the backfield. They can't cover guys like George Kittle uh, or, 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 or uh, um, you know, Patrick Mahomes' favorite weapon. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, um, well, how am Tra- I forgetting? Kelsey, Tra- Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. You, you Kelsey. You, yeah, I'm, Miss, I'm, I'm thinking Taylor about Taylor Swift. I was going, I, I want to say Taylor Swift's man. They can't cover those kind of tight ends. So the, the the type of players that he had back in the day, he had to he has to reevaluate and draft or bring in free agents that will fit the mold of what defenses need to be today to stop today's offenses. And he's not doing I- that. Yeah, absolutely. And on top of that, you know, really to piggyback off the point, you just look at how much this league has kind of geared towards flat out speed on offense. And yeah, that seems really, really simple. But look at all the spacing that Miami creates in San Francisco and a lot of these top offenses. And then you look at New England and you stare at their offense and you go, who am I supposed to fear with the ball in their hands right now? Who are we supposed to dedicate more coverage to and more help to and really keep our defensive coordinator up at night? Because even when they didn't have those guys in New England, and there was plenty of times they did. I mean, they brought in Randy Moss and got him back to being prime Randy. You talked about Mm -hmm. what Edelman developed into Gronkowski, one of the greatest tight ends of all time. But there was also years where they did have a drop-off in skill talent, but the offense was so precise with rhythm and timing that they could still function. They could still develop the run game. They could still run off of play action and precision and timing with Brady. They haven't been able to do that with Mac Jones. Mac Jones does not operate. Nobody does. But Mac Jones especially is not going to operate on that kind of rhythm that if you're, you're not really good at anything, right? You don't have an explosive offense, but you don't have an offense built on timing and pass protection in the run game. And that's why when all set, when you hear all that, you go, maybe at least the personnel side and some of the tactics side Absolutely. is starting to catch up to Bill at this point. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.